Hello and welcome to this uh, PalmSense unboxing video. Today we're going to uh, look what's inside the case of the PalmSense 4 and we're going to make our first measurement. So inside the box you will find, well, of course you will find your PalmSense 4 in it. You will find a short quick installation guide. This is for example if you're not a fan of watching videos you could stop right now and use this installation guide. Then you also get a PS Touch quick start in case that you want to use your Android device to control your potentiostat. You find in there a dummy cell with three different circuits that we're going to use during this uh, demonstration. You will find in there crocodile clips and a USB stick, a USB-C cable and our uh, sensor cable for connecting your electrodes or in our case connecting the dummy cell later. This is all you find in the box. Well, before you can start using your very good potentiostat that you, or, uh, that you have uh, just received, you first need to install uh, the software PS Trace. With this instrument comes a USB stick. On this USB stick you can find uh, the software required for the potentiostat and we're going to uh, install this now. So you just push the USB stick into the computer that you want to use, um, then you open the folder if it doesn't open by itself and there you find the setup file, you just double click it and then you wait for Windows to ask for permission to make changes and of course you agree. Then you have to choose where you want to install PS Trace and agree to our terms and conditions. Then um, you're asked to uh, help us uh, improving the software. If you want to do that, just uh, leave the check there in the box and go uh, press install. Then it will ask you to uh, install some drivers. So you just press extract, then uh, you follow the instructions and that means you have to agree to another agreement. Okay. Once that is done, PS Trace will continue with the installation. So uh, PS Trace will automatically uh, add an icon to your desktop so you can very conveniently open it. You will also get a short list of um, the history of the PS Trace updates. This is especially useful if you have used a previous version of PS Trace and you would like to know what new features were added for this version that you're now installing. If you leave the check here, you will launch the application when you press finish. PS Trace is loading and when it opens for the first time, the settings window will open and there you can make some simple choices but you can change them later on so don't worry if you think you ticked the wrong box. Uh, an important question is what is the frequency of your mains power? Um, so we're in Europe so that's uh, 50 Hertz that um, gives some extra filtering for that frequency because this is usually the strongest uh, frequency for uh, noise. Um, yes, that is the first important setting. If you want to use one of our potential sets via Bluetooth, you can check the Bluetooth option and uh, if you have certain peripherals you already know you're going to use, you can check them here. And if you think you have set everything that you want to set, you just press OK. Uh, and you also will get our help files. So there are some uh, basic principles, some short explanations of the software and uh, yeah, just read through it to get a, a good first idea or just close them and start exploring if you feel a bit more adventurous. Well, now we have installed PS Trace and uh, now we want to do our first uh, measurement. Now, for the first measurement, 
we of course need the potentia stat and the cables that came with it. So first we want to connect the potentia stat to the computer. For that you just connect the USB plug and well let's take up this one and use this USB port for our potentia stat. To, um, to connect the potentia stat to the software it needs to be switched on. Just hold the power button till the PalmSense logo appears on the screen you will get a short summary of um, the um, configuration of this PalmSense 4 and then you get into the standby screen. Okay, um, so before we connect to the software we will set up our measurement so we can focus on working with the software. To uh, insert the sensor cable you should uh, look for this red dot here and make sure that it shows up. Then you just push it in and now it's tight. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to release it again, just pull on this ring and it comes out again. So now, now we have plugged it in. We are, um, we're going to use our dummy cell. And as you can see, the dummy cell has these contact pads and our cable ends in two millimeter banana plugs. So we're going to use crocodile clips to uh, well, connect to the dummy cell. We have croco you, with your instruments, you get crocodile clips in the matching colors of the banana plug. So we uh, try to avoid as much confusion as we can. So there we go. Okay, now the red plug is labeled with a C for counter electrode. So we connect it to the CE con uh, connection pad. The blue plug is labeled with an R for reference electrode and um, connected here. The working electrode is the red plug. It's labeled with a W. Oh, no, I think you can't see it. Okay, uh, and now we're just uh, connecting it to the working electrode B. Okay, now our dummy cell is connected and if you want to know what is the circuit that you now have connected it on the dummy cell, you actually can just read it on the uh, drawings on the dummy cell. Okay, now we're going to do our first measurement. For that you, uh, well, either you have already started Pierce Trace or now you need to open it to uh, use your potentia stand. You look for the connection section which is up here in the left and in the drop down menu you want to find the PalmSense 4. It's not in there yet so we press the refresh button and it appears. So when you press the refresh button it looks which USB devices are connected. Then you press uh, physically connected. Then you press uh, connect and if you get this message that means uh, PS Trace would like to uh, upgrade your firmware. So you just press OK and say yes you would like to do that and then everything goes automatically. You just wait till, um, till the PalmSense 4 shows again, again the standby screen that you've just seen. You see uh, the progress bar and it already reboots. So and you, um, you just need to wait and then uh, Pierce Trace is automatically reconnecting to the PalmSense 4 that you've just tried to connect to. Okay, so now we want to do uh, our uh, first measurement. It's a very simple linear sweep voltammetry. That means we're just changing the potential in linear way and our dummy cell circuit is just a resistor. So we're expecting a diagonal line in the voltammogram. Uh, to make your first measurement very easy, you can just load the method file. The method files uh, store all the parameters for a measurement. You can use that easily to share uh, measurement parameters with your colleagues. So you just click on method, you click on load, and this one you will find in uh, your documents in the PS data folder. And there you will find uh, PS dummy cell LSV. Just click on it, open it, and it loads the parameters. Then you just need to press the 
run button and it starts to do the first measurement. You see live how the values are recorded on the screen of the PalmSense 4. You see that it's running a linear sweep voltammetry and then it's done and you have already performed your first measurement. Well, we hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and that you learned something and uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any of our other videos. Have a great day.